Hello, travel advisors. Welcome to From Adolfo's Desk Live. Um, today is a very special From Adolfo's Desk Live because it's really all about you. Um, this is a very special day for travel advisors. Uh, I think the people that have helped uh, build the cruise industry into this amazing uh, vacation option for so many millions of people around the world. So today it's all about thanking you and for uh, making sure that you know how much everybody at Carnival appreciates you. Um, as you all know, probably because I've said it a million times and my background says it, it's our 50th birthday this year. We're not gonna stop saying it for the whole year. Uh, we're celebrating all year long uh, because it was really a big milestone for all of us. And uh, you know, we have to thank you, uh, and I'll say this a million more times in my lifetime, I'm sure, um, but you know, the cruise industry would not be where it is had it not been for the early adoption of travel advisors of the cruise industry, really getting behind it, supporting us all, and really making this an amazing vacation industry for so many millions of people. The last 50 years have been amazing, and you guys have worked so hard to get us to where we are. And the last two years, I have to say, have been probably two of the toughest years that you've all had to endure. We've all endured it, and you guys endured it from your own side. Um, so uh, I really wanna thank you. Uh, we are so excited that as of Monday, the 2nd of May of this year, the entire Carnival uh, fleet is back at sea uh, with your guests on board, having amazing times in different places all over uh, the United States and the world. So today I have a very special guest. Um, uh, we are uh, lucky to have Zane Kirby. He's the president and CEO of the American Society of Travel Advisors. And uh, he, uh, he's graciously agreed to join us. My dog is barking, sorry. Um, anyhow, um, <clears throat> that's what happens when you work from home. And Zane, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, uh, I wanted to make sure that, you know, we had the opportunity to, hey, we've never actually met in person, so nice to meet you today virtually. Uh, you guys are really important uh, to travel advisors. Um, and as CEO, I know you know how important our travel advisors are um, uh, out there that are watching today. So what I'd like to do is um, give you the opportunity to tell us a little bit about your career and how you ended up as president and CEO of ASTA, because it's a, that's a big deal. Well, thank you, uh, Adolfo. And, and first off, congratulations on 50 years being in business. I also celebrated a special 50 uh, myself this year. So uh, Carnival Cruise Lines and, and, uh, and Zane Kirby have something in common. We both started about the same time. Uh, ASTA is an wow. organization. <laughs> ASTA is an organization. And on, on being back in the water with, with your entire fleet, that is also such a welcome news to so many of our travel advisor members. And certainly a, a Carnival Cruise Line has been a wonderful partner of ASA for many, many years. Uh, how did I get started? Well, in, uh, yeah, I guess you don't want me to go all the way back. But I just, I've been in nonprofit management for, uh, for about 20, 25 years now. I worked for a medical association for a short amount of time. But that uh, I worked for hearing health care healthcare practitioners, and that was really boring. But uh, then uh, in 1999, uh, a job came available at the National Business Travel Association. And I, I went in there and just absolutely fell in love with travel, uh, even though it was corporate travel and it wasn't uh, it, it was it wasn't as fun or as interesting as as the kinds of things that most of our members do. Um, it really, really gave, whetted my appetite. I worked there for 14 years. Uh, really love that experience uh, with the National Business Travel Association. And then when the ASA job became available in 2013, Adolfo, I just you know I jumped at it. I jumped at the chance to uh, to represent. Uh, what I knew is just a, a large and such an important part of the travel industry. Uh, the, the, I like to call that it's the plumbing of the travel industry. It's the people who connect everything and make it work right. And that, that was, uh, so, and I talked to a, a, one of our colleagues at the New York Times last week, and I told her the same thing I'll tell you, which is I said, you and I have the best jobs in America. You get to write for travel for a, a, a big prestigious uh, newspaper, and I get to represent travel advisors in, in the best jobs uh, in America. And she agreed with me. So that's a little about me. Well, yeah, that's great. So I think that um, many of the uh, of our you know of our travel agent partners that are watching travel advisors, as she said, you guys actually coined the, the phrase travel advisor. Uh, I'm not changing my tattoo. Just for your information, that's uh, permanent and it's not changing. Um, but anyhow, 
Uh, I think that many of them are, are you know, members of CLIA, obviously another very important industry uh, organization. Um, and I think that uh, it's really important. ASTA is also a very important industry organization that has done so much. And I think it's important if you can kind of share with them in case they don't understand the importance of what ASTA does for them and their livelihoods, you know, and not only that, but just in, in, in the travel industry in general and how you guys uh, help support this industry in so many different ways and why they should be members too. Yeah, it's a great question, Adolfo. And I'd like to just answer it by saying that ASTA is led by, fit, our, we report to, uh, I lead the staff here, and I, uh, but we report to 15 travel advisor board of director members. So our mission, the, the organization's reason for being is to promote and defend our member agencies, travel agencies at all levels of government within the industry itself and to the traveling public. So everything we, every activity we take up is in support of that mission. And it's very clear who we work for. So if you're not a member of the American, and you sell travel for a living you're, and you're not a member of the American Society of Travel Advisors, uh, you, you're missing out. I, I would just say you're, you're missing out. And you're also withholding your strength from, from and your support from an organization whose job it is to really uh, keep you in business, to keep the regulatory environment uh, uh, somewhat manageable, to make sure that to organize efforts on Capitol Hill here that are so important to our future, our present and our future. Because the reality is, is that members of Congress don't plan for people who are invisible to them or for professions that they can't see and touch every day. And the reality is that, that we don't have a Anheuser Bush or Google's marketing budget. Most of our members uh, aren't, aren't broadly known to members of Congress who set policy, uh, public policy and the rules of the road that we have to abide by. So uh, ASA does, I think, a, a really fantastic job. In, in representing our interests, the member, our, our members' interest to members of Congress. We, uh, and again, within the industry and then to the traveling public at large. One of the things I'm really proud of is that we, we have members of our staff whose job it is full time to go out and talk to major media outlets about the great work the travel advisors do for the traveling public. That's a real job here at ASTA. Yeah. And we're very successful at it. You know, well, we, I don't mean to interrupt you, but I think you guys were uh, critical in uh, several uh, laws, I think in California in particular, with independent uh, contractors in travel. And if I, if I'm, and hopefully I'm not saying something wrong, but when the whole um, COVID relief was done, I think you guys were very much in the forefront in helping ensure that travel advisors also got uh, help during that time. Yeah, you did. We did. Adolfo, you mentioned AB5, which is really, you know, the, the way that the law was written in California, it really was designed to help, uh, you know, people in the sort of gig economy professions like Uber and Lyft drivers. But the reality is the way the law is written, it was going to outlaw the the independent contractor model in the state of California. It was it was going to say that the relationship between a host and, a, and an independent travel advisor was illegal. And so we sent our board members out, we sent members of staff out, and we, we knocked the doors of, of all of uh, the California state senators' offices. We pushed, pushed hard, and we got an exemption from AB5. And without ASTA's efforts, I'm, I'm fairly certain, well, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely certain that wouldn't have happened. So we did a, a really good job in preserving uh, uh, the, the business model in the state of California. We have thousands of members there. Uh, the other thing you mentioned is, has to do with COVID relief, and it's absolutely true. We were asked to testify in, in the Small Business Committee in the U.S. House of Representatives early in March of 2020, and we were, we, we went and uh, testified as well to the, the, the Senate uh, Commerce Committee and to the lawyers who, who write the bills uh, in, in order to, to gain COVID relief. And so uh, we actually, most of our members are independent contractors. They actually got access to a program uh, to unemployment insurance that they had not paid into. As an, as an independent contract, you don't pay into an unemployment. Uh, uh, that's, that's for you know, larger businesses with employees. But we got um, access to that program for which I'm really proud, which was a real lifeline to so many of our members during the pandemic when, when uh, you know, regulations uh, strangled our, our, our business. I was gonna say that, you know, <clears throat> I just wanted to send a message out that to our travel advisors out there watching that um, supporting ASTA, becoming a member, not only gives you all sorts of benefits and, you know, with training and those kinds of things that are really important, 
for you to grow your business, but they're also supporting an organization that is supporting you and making sure that your business continues to grow and you have these things that come up that, you know, you probably on your own would never be able to fight something like, you know, that bill in California or to get the, you know, get included in the COVID relief and those kinds of things. So those are just two examples and I'm sure there are many, many more that you all have, um, you know, been, been really, uh, crucial in getting uh, the support and the things that travel advisors need today. Um, you know, today is obviously a global travel advisor day. I think that's probably changed names. Uh, how long ago, how long ago did that change? That's really good because we have people all over the world. That's right. So uh, actually it's been uh, national travel advisor day up until this year, we just moved to, to global this year. So uh, it, it was travel agent day until we, we rebranded in 2018, I believe. And uh, now, obviously, very proud of National uh, Travel or Global Travel Advisor Appreciation Day. Yeah. You know, to your to your point, though, Adolfo. Uh, you know, we we wrote the the, um, the the brief that 16 bipartisan members of Congress took to the White House two weeks ago, asking them to rescind the inbound testing requirement for vaccinated travelers. We have pushed on this media, we pushed on, we, we, and we actually, you know, wrote this, wrote the members of Congress, and they said, this sounds really good. This is really smart and well done. And they, they again, 16 bipartisan members of Congress took it up to the White House and said, you need to change this rule. Now, unfortunately, it hasn't happened yet, but we're pushing with everything we can to make sure that, that uh, the rule gets rescinded as quickly as possible. Because we know that when, once it is, uh, the, you know, I mean, Sally barred the door, uh, you know, international yeah. travels, and, and we can't wait for that. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I just did my first real, I mean, I should, I've been on other international trips to Mexico, which is pretty close, but I, I went to our uh, international sales office in London last week. And, you know, I had to go and book a, a, you know, a test and, you know, God forbid I test positive. And um, I think that, you know, Americans uh, thinking about international travel, which is so important to everybody that's watching today, uh, international travel is a big a uh, ticket item that helps them earn a lot of commission, uh, a lot of repeat business. Um, and, uh, you know, people might be afraid to go and get stuck somewhere because they've gotten, you know, uh, a, a positive COVID test. Um, and, you know, opening that up, when I flew into the UK, I didn't have to have a test. I didn't have to show my vaccine card. So um, it, it really does make it more difficult. And I think that where we started off a little bit more liberal, we've gotten more conservative when it comes to the um, you know, these these COVID rules uh, and the other places like the UK, which I remember was basically shut down. Uh, now they're, you know, their doors are wide open and welcoming people, you know, from all over the world. So um, anyway, uh, Zane, you guys, you know, have done an amazing job in just the few little things that you've mentioned. And I know that you guys go back a long way. And I'm sure that the list of things that uh, you guys have done uh, to help our travel advisors out there uh, really succeed, uh, be uh, fairly treated in this country. Um, and uh, we really appreciate everything you guys do. And today I know that you're going to be giving away two, um, two registrations for your uh, global conference in San Francisco. I think it's the 24th, yeah, 24th of August through the 26th. Um, and I have the names of the winners, um, so we will, announce those ASTA winners now. So we have Brie Royal, um, one of the winners for the conference and as well as Dave Lesser. So congratulations to them. Help me congratulate them, Zane, so that, um, uh, and make sure that, oh, I was gonna tell them they need to send uh, their information to claim their prize at meetings at ASTA.org. So it's on the screen. If I called your name, please send that out so that you can attend this conference uh, at, you know, ASA has uh, so graciously offered this to you guys for free. So thanks, Zane. Bree, David, yeah, we can't wait to see you in San Francisco in late August. I hope you can carve it out. Uh, and, and we can't wait to meet you in person. And Adolfo, thank you so much for, for having me today and for letting me talk a little bit about ASTA. Uh, it, it's just a, a superb organization that, again, is is the nerve center for, for all of the the pain and the and the good that happens to the travel advisor community. So thanks for yeah. having me on. No, thank you. I know you're really busy today. You're going from webinar to webinar. So <laughs> you're a popular guy today. So uh, thanks for making time for us and for the travel advisors that are in our audience today. Uh, I know they appreciate it and appreciate all you do at us. So thanks. Cheers. Bye. Bye. On to the next one. <laughs> thanks, um, so all right. My pleasure.
And all right, so the next thing I'm going to talk about is uh, Agent Palooza bus tour starting June 1st. I think we already announced that uh, Philadelphia is our first stop. Uh, you can see that we'll be at Penn's Landing next, followed by Baltimore, Baltimore Museum of Industry, June 3rd in Norfolk, Virginia, the Perry Pavilion, and June 4th in Charlotte, our in-person uh, event is now sold out or full, full of uh, all of you guys that are so excited to go. We were so excited to you know, sell out already, um, but you know, we'll definitely have the, the virtual option available, um, but uh, you know, make sure that you scan to register for the other events or for the online events. And um, we look forward to uh, seeing you all at Agent Palooza Bus Tour 2022. And then we have some things to give away. Oh, there's the bus. There's the Agent Palooza bus. It's getting ready to get um, made up. We're definitely really excited to bring that back to all of you to, uh, this year. Uh, we wanted to obviously do something special for all the hard work you guys have done. And Agent Palooza is a lot of fun. I think this year will be our best one ever. And um, today we're actually gonna give away some uh, t-shirts. So these are the new Agent Palooza t-shirts. We're giving away the 10 lucky winners. Um, if I call your name, please make sure you send us your information to trade support at carnival.com to claim your prize. And the winners are, Debbie Gamble, Jacob Smith, Julie Hallam, Kelly Ireland, Art Richard, Kyra Beatty, Nancy Milak, Shelly Betchtold, Braden Jar, and Vicki Damore. So congratulations to all of you. Make sure you send us your information at trade support at carnival.com. This is a brand new t-shirt. We're actually gonna be uh, doing uh, if I'm not mistaken, Jerry, tell me if I'm saying something wrong. Um, we are going to be doing giving these with uh, donations for St. Jude. Am I saying that correctly at the event? So That's these guys correct. are really lucky to get these uh, up. Front. And the um, the t-shirts will be sent out. I think you guys said in June. So congratulations to the uh, to the winners. And I think that may be it, unless I have something else, Jerry. Click ah. Oh, I almost forgot the most important thing. And we are doing a very special travel advisor offer. Um, this will be for you and one guest to sail in a complimentary interior cabin on a cruise ship up to eight days in length. Upgrades are available. You have to register by Wednesday, May 4th at 5 p.m. That's today, 5 p.m. Scan the QR code below to register. Um, make sure that you have a VIFP number with Carnival because we assign the fare or the fare code to your uh, VIFP uh, uh, record. And that's the way you get to book it online through goccl.com. So the booking window is May 5th through the 31st. So you've got some time to think about when you wanna go. And the sailing window is May the 22nd, uh, sorry, May 2022 through February, 2023. So you've got a lot of good dates to choose from. And like I said, you still have until the end of this month to decide when you wanna go. So make sure you take us up on this offer because um, it's just for you on this very special day, tra Global Travel Advisor Day. And I think that's it, right, Jerry? There can't be anything better than that. Yes, Bob, that's it. All right. Today, we don't have a QA, and a uh, but Jerry, if you did put a QA and a into the, uh, into the chat, uh, Jerry will make sure that we get back to you uh, uh, after this event. Uh, and I want to thank all of you for joining us yet again for another From Adolfo's Desk Live. And I want to congratulate you and uh, tell you all how appreciative I am of you and happy Global Travel Advisor Day from everybody at Carnival. All 40,000 of our employees wish you a happy Global Travel Advisory, Advisory Day. Bye, everyone. Oh, wait, they wanted to see Chloe. Chloe, come here. Come here. I did a poll on Facebook. Hold on. Come here, Mom. Come here. Come here, Mom. Yell at her or something. But anyway, here's Chloe. Say hi, Chloe. All right, everyone. Thanks for joining. See you soon. Bye. Bye.